Greetings coders. In this video, we are going to look at the standard template libraries map. The standard map in C++ is another dynamic data structure. It is similar to an ordered list or an array list, except the index is not a number. The index is definable by the developer. So it uses a, a key and value construct that is also used to order the list and access values in it very quickly. Each value is comprised of a key and a value, and each key in a map must be unique. The map is loaded from the map library header, and when using it, we declare the key and the value using a template. For example, something like map string int will give us a key of type string that holds int values. However, objects also work as well. If we want to add to the map, we can use the insert method, which requires a key value pair. This is the same pair that we talked about a few slides prior. So we create a pair string int with Alice in 25 or make pair, and then map allows the assertion alternatively via map key equals value. So when we use the make pair, we can use that with the insert to reiterate this. But without the insert, we can also do map key equals value. Here's an example. We have map string int age map. If we want to insert it, we use pair string int Alice 25. We can also insert using make pair with John comma 30. And then we can also do it directly using age map Bob equals 27. To access map values, we use the array operator, the brackets. And so we can access Bob's age using age map and the square brackets with Bob in between. If Bob does not exist, however, when we use the array operator, it'll automatically add it using a default constructor. On the other hand, if we access with the app method, then it will return an exception that we can catch. So for this example, we create age map again and insert just like we had on the last one and print out John. And then since John is in there, it'll print out 30. In this case, Alice's age, there's no, oh, there is Alice at 25 and we print out Alice. And so we get 25. Had we given it something that didn't exist, it would have said key not found and, and caught this. We can also check for a key if we're not sure if it exists or not using the find method. And if it returns an end iterator, then we know that it's not found. The iterator that find will return, similar to the vector, uses the pair uses with dot first will be the first value is a key and the second dot second value is the value. Let's take a look using this below. So we have Bob it and age map find Bob. If Bob is not equal to the end of age map, then we print out Bob first, which will be Bob and Bob second, which will be 27. And that's what we get down here. And that's it for this video.